Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. I'm currently in Las Vegas, where I'm delighted to be joined by Chris Willis, Chief Design Officer at Domo. Chris, really looking forward to diving in with yeah, you here thank today. you, Ryan. Excited to be here. Chris, Domo is underpinned by AI, data science, and a secure data foundation. Your platform makes data actionable with user-friendly dashboards and apps. With regards to your ecosystem of Domo tiers, what's the data showing you? Well, the data is surprising and transformative. I think we're at a really interesting moment, and Domo, as an AI data products platform, is really at the intersection of where data and AI meet, and I think that's super unusual, but also super exciting because what we're starting to see is that companies are really accelerating their digital transformation process. You know, it's something we've talked about in for years, you know, with lots of investments in data foundations and clouds, et cetera, but it's been hard to unlock that value. And so we're starting to see companies, you know, really innovate very, very quickly in a way that's even surprising to us, and we've been waiting for this moment. I really feel Domo's been built for this moment, so we're excited to see this. It's an exciting time indeed, Chris. How does the AI data cloud help you drive insights and efficiencies for your customers? Yeah, well, we, we love working with Snowflake, and one of the things the AI data cloud does is with the Domo platform allows us to more simply integrate and get value out of data. So. Uh, in a way, we're making it very easy for companies to unlock the value in the investments they've already made in the data. And that's one of the things that I think, you know, has people really excited. You know, and many times they've been trying to figure out, well, how do I unlock value from the data currently? Now with AI, it only gets more exciting and there's a lot of FOMO out there. So by simplifying that sort of native data integration that we have with Snowflake, uh, one of the things we do that um, our customers really love is we have a thousand different data connectors. So we allow you to both put data into Snowflake, uh, transform it in a way that makes it feel, makes it more AI ready, but then you, know, you can take the investment you put in Snowflake and leverage that and create last mile applications or automations or things like that. And I think the companies that are beginning to see that investment pay off are getting very, very excited. And they're starting to learn faster than I would expect, especially as someone who's worked in like the design business, you know, you look for these moments and it's, it's really exciting. Great perspective, thank you, Chris. I want to dive a little bit deeper yep. for a moment. How is Snowflake empowering your Gen AI business intelligence use case and how is it positioning Domo up for long-term success? Yeah, that's a great question. So one of the things that Domo is really doing well because we're an AI and data product platform is we make it easy for you to grab uh, you know, the data that you've already put into Snowflake, of course, combine that with other data sources because we have a thousand other connectors, but use that seamless integration to advance new kinds of initiatives or automations or workflows or you know, even just allow people to be informed in real time in a way they haven't before. And it's interesting when you're able to use all of that technology. You know, we talk a lot about, you know, there's a lot of jargon in this business for sure, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't help you make better decisions, it's pointless, right? And that's what we're starting to see is both much better decision making because now you're able to leverage the data you already have in Snowflake with the latest sort of models. We have something called an AI services layer, which allows you to also, you know, either use Snowflake Cortex, which is wonderful, but you can also combine that with other specialized models and do it in a secure way. Um, you know, being in Vegas, you know, this, the old saying like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, in the same way with Domo, you know, having that security, what happens in Domo stays in Domo. And that's really, really critical, especially if you're trying to innovate very quickly with, you know, very exciting technology, but also technology has some risks. Great to hear. Thank you, Chris. As we talked about at the beginning of, of this program, this has been the year of AI implementation across the enterprise. What areas are you seeing this technology have the most impact and what have your biggest takeaways been as you look back on the trailing 12 months? Sure, the first thing I'm seeing is the companies that have invested in a strong data foundation are doing more faster with AI. The saying we throw around a lot is, you know, bad data means bad AI, so that's one. But two, I think companies that are really accelerating are understanding that this is a different kind of moment. This isn't just a new kind of technology. It's what we might call an enabling technology. So some technologies are disruptive, right? They rock the boat a little bit, but then things settle down and everyone sort of moves on to the next thing. 
enabling technologies like generative AI, like the internet, um, IoT, 3D printing, uh, CRISPR, these kinds of technologies are enabling because they are engines for new kinds of disruptive technologies. So when the internet came around, it was like, oh, I could read the news, or I could book a flight, or I could create a blockchain, a new currency. Like, whoa, that is, that is enabling technology. That's right. transformative. And so what we're starting to see is that over the last 12 months, companies have gone from being you know, curious to um, experimenting. And the ones that are able to experiment and learn advance very quickly. Uh, becoming a learning organization is a whole other conversation we might want to have at some point. That would be great. But uh, what we're starting to see is those who, again, have made that investment in that data foundation. And so, you know, using the Domo AI data products platform, along with their investments in Snowflake, they're future proofing. And they're starting to see the benefits of that future proofing because now AI is allowing them to leverage that information in ways that they might have never predicted. And that that's pretty interesting. And I, no, I, I want to no, go on because that's no, super that was, exciting stuff. That was great, great per perspective on that, Chris. And I want to stick with your personal perspective. What advice would you like to leave the audience with on how best to implement AI to future-proof their organizations for the long-term future ahead? Yeah, that's a great question. It's a question we get a lot. Uh, again, it's a lot for people to wrap their brain around. What we say is start, you know, if you're going to start using AI to, say, automate tasks, and that's one of the things um, that we're starting to see with some Domo customers is they're not waiting for the future to come to them. They're building the future. And one of the things we're starting to see is using these new agentic type models to power very robust automations. And I think what you're going to see is a lot of automating of the menial at the start, you know, that small defined business use cases that build efficiencies and so that people can begin focusing on the more meaningful problems to be solved. So we're definitely seeing that. What we're also seeing is that generative AI is really the big unlock for many enterprises. And the Domo platform was really built for this moment because with the Domo AI products platform, you can take all of that investment you've made and use AI to really reduce the complexity. So now all of a sudden intelligence and AI modeling and a lot of work by very smart data teams doesn't just have to sit and reside in those areas. It can be accessed through natural language, right? And the fact that you know English or Japanese or Spanish or whatever is now the new programming language through these conversational agents is really unbelievable. I mean, no one saw this coming. And I think we're super well poised to help people you know, leverage this. Thank you, Chris. Based on your experience working with customers across industries, what key business transformations are you seeing organizations achieve through data and AI initiatives? And can you share any specific examples of how companies are using Domo and Snowflake to drive these outcomes? Sure, yeah, what we're seeing is, is remarkable. Um, it's early, but one of the things, at least from my perspective as a, as a chief design officer and a product designer is I'm always looking for customers from the future. Right? And the idea that you know, maybe the future is not so much invented as it is discovered. I like that. So, so once you know what to look for, all of a sudden you, know, you start seeing these, these companies and these enterprises do really innovative things. They may not even realize it. Um, one example uh, in terms of you know, using AI in new kinds of ways comes from a company that is a data company, which really shocked me. They're in risk management. So you know, they're ones looking at doing background checks, but doing it on trillions of little bits and pieces of data. And trying to manage that business in real time is very, very difficult. So one of the things they were able to do was use the Domo platform to combine both their data within Domo, data from Snowflake, along with multiple generative agents, you know, AI agents. Right. And we talk, we talk about these as agentic. I know it sounds kind of, kind of jargony, but that's what they are. But you can think of them as just smart little experts. The power of this is that they're able to use the Domo AI product platform to navigate not just the data and the content that they've created. Dashboards are still great. They're still needed. But being able to create new and robust workflows. So. What's the impact of a workflow like this? Like, well, what does that even mean? Typically, workflows are like trains on a track. They're very rigid. Right. Well, in this case, you're now 
working in a very dynamic business environment where the questions are changing. So if things are changing, do you have the people to react in real time to that? Not always. So what they've done is they've taken multiple agents and they're able to ask the agents questions. And these agents then use other agents that are specialized in different parts of the business. And now they're able to take a complicated question, ask it in Domo. It will then go out to whatever data source it needs, whether it's in Snowflake or it's you know, within one of the other thousand sort of connectors, and generate answers with the actual underlying query to be audited in two and a half minutes. Wow. It used to take four weeks. Now, if you ask a question and it's really important to you, do you want to wait four weeks? A lot of times you can't remember what, what the question was asked for in the, <laughs> to begin with. So when we talk about transformation and we talk about you know, a lot of the hype around AI, it really comes down to very practical alignment and answers to business questions that change outcomes in real time. That's the magic. That's the unlock, I think, of a lot of AI. And that's why we think Demo's really built for this moment. Well, Chris, thank you so much for joining oh, me thanks, here today. Ryan. It's been a pleasure. Thanks, I really appreciate it. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you soon.